So that's, I like that now, and now I can place it wherever I want to place it. You can see here, I've set this up already. If you want to record annotated videos on your iPad using a face cam, this is the best way to do it in 2024. We all know that face cam, having a face cam creates more engagement. On your iPad, what I want you to do is go ahead and download Camo Studio. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And this is what it looks like when you open it. It looks quite intimidating. Don't worry, I'm going to simplify this. Just follow through to the end. Like and subscribe as always. So I know that you're enjoying this video. So first step is go to your scenes. So all scenes and create a new scene. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene. And I'm going to call this explainer videos. So let's go ahead and load up that scene. And then we can start changing that scene to make it look exactly how we need it. So where is it? It's explainer video. And now these are the following steps that I want you to use to set this up. So the first camera, we're going to turn it off. It says primary camera source, your primary source. We're going to go ahead and turn this off. So we're not going to use that at all. The secondary camera, the secondary source. So let's go ahead and select type camera and then your front facing camera. Now you can see me on the iPad that I'm waving there. As I wave, you can see that some effects and animations. We're going to go ahead and sort all of that out. So where you say image enhancements, the background, you've got a few options here. You can do like remove the background entirely, which is fantastic. You can do portrait or privacy, and you can do like a green screen as well. So if you do replace, you can do a green screen. I want to stick with normal. I like this filter, the green booster. It, it just pops the color a little bit more. And then spotlight effect. Can you see like as I'm waving, can you see the outline? I can turn that off. Now, if you don't have good lighting in your space that you're recording, go ahead and put spotlight on because it is going to increase your exposure. So it's going to make you look a bit more bright. So I did say I'm going to change the, the face cam to look like a circle. So we can see here on secondary source video, we're going to go ahead and make the corners into a circle. So we're going to do the radius corners like that. But it still looks like an oblong. It's like a stretched out version. So what I can do is I can actually move this around and I can manipulate the shape. I'll make it a square and then it will auto adjust into a circle. So that's, I like that now. And now I can place it wherever I want to place it. Now, what I do need to do though, is I need to change this background. I'm going to change the background to look like this. I'm going to show you, all right? So I can now use this background to annotate my information so that I can show the students what a worked example would look like for this frequency table. How did I get that background? So in order for me to make sure that this image is exactly how I want it, I'm going to have to edit it in the Photos app first, okay? I'll show you a demo. So I'm going to go to my Photos app. Here's a question that I want to set as my background. So how do I do that? Well, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to go to Crop, and I'm going to make sure I set it to 16 by 9. So I'm going to click on this button here and select 16 by 9. So that's the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Now I can pinch and zoom. And I want to get rid of question two, so I've got space to work this out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my pencil, click on the add button, and I'm going to add a shape. I'm just going to add a square, and I'm going to change the fill color to white to match this page color. And then I can get rid of question two and then press on done and save it. So now I have a perfect aspect ratio, 16 by nine, for my background that I can import. Go back to Camo Studio, and I'm going to change my background I'll go to my photo library and then I can go ahead and bring that that picture. So I've set up my background according to what I wanted. Let's go full screen first and foremost. So I'm going to click on these arrows to go full screen. And then you can see if I tap on the top, I can click on Camo Studio. You see that pencil there? I click on that pencil and now I can start annotating. So I can say, OK, for question one, how many students participated in this competition? Go ahead and show them. Can you estimate the median? Well, I'm going to say, well, 60 divided by two, that's going to be 30. So you can use Camo Studio to do your explainer videos like this. Go ahead and comment in the section below. Like and subscribe as always. By the way, I didn't mention, how do you record this? You just click on here, make sure that this is on library, photo library, and then you press start. And then you can go ahead and share it on your drive, share it in your classroom, upload it to YouTube. I might make another video about streaming. All right. Give it a try for yourself. Catch you in the next one.